Hello and welcome to circle time. Sue, come on out. Let's say hello to some friends. Hi, everyone. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm fine, fine, fine. Well, good morning, everybody, and good morning to you, Sue. We've been working on a memory verse this week, and it is pray without ceasing. That means without stopping. We should be praying to God all the time. That verse comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.17. You can get this poster for your refrigerator at my blog, parents, and the link will be below. Well, Sue, why don't you have a seat? Because it is time for us to do our class job. Let's feed Fred. I think he's waiting for us. There you are, Fred. Now that we've fed Fred, let's pick pointer. Which pointer should we pick for calendar time today? Hmm, do you want to pick the bird? <laughs> okay, let's pick the bird today. The month is May and today its number goes right here. Let's see if we can count and figure out what number that is. Let me reach into our jar and it says, we're going to count by standing on one foot. So stand up and get ready to count. Okay, let's balance. Are you ready? We're gonna balance and count on one foot. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're good at balancing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can sit down. Ooh, that was hard for me to balance, but you were good at it. Today's date is May 11th. Can you say that? May 11th. If you go up to the top, you'll see today's day of the week starts with the letter W. Also, it's right in the middle. So what day of the week is right in the middle and starts with wah, wah, wah? Wednesday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, let's check our Wednesday weather. Look outside and see what the weather is like for you today. Maybe it's sunny or cloudy or rainy. Okay, did you go and check? Let's sing about it. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is it is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Let's put Weather Bear on a pair of pants and we'll put Weather Bear on a t-shirt. Pretty soon, Weather Bear will need shorts. The weather's starting to get warmer. What season is it right now? The season is spring. Well, if you want to stick around, I'll give you some ideas for a letter of the day. If you want to, you could do the letter H. And H is for a hot air balloon. We decorated the letter H kind of like a hot air balloon. The bottom part is round like the basket and we put stripes on the top. So you can decorate letter H. And parents, you can get the blank alphabet at my blog. The link is below. Now that we can recognize that this is letter H, let's learn how to write letter H. All you need for H is just three lines. 
one and another one and a line across the middle one one and across i'll show you what that looks like on this handwriting house paper it also is available on my blog one one and across one one and across one one and across now before i show you the little letter h could you do something for me could you make one big hop let me see your big hop one hop oh you're good at hopping let's do it again one hop well that's all you need for the little h you just need a one and then hop over one hop let's practice that on our handwriting paper one hop one hop over one hop one hop well now that we know what letter h looks like and how to write it we can talk about the sound that letter h makes letter h makes this sound <sighs> let's play a little game to practice that sound okay so we're going to have a little race stand up if you want to we're going to run as fast as we can you can run in place or you can run around but when the bell beeps come back okay ready get set go run run as fast as you can turbo mode oh come back come back let's see how we're breathing <sighs> oh that was fast running and that's the sound that letter h makes <sighs> like when you're running fast and breathing hard <laughs> So that was our letter time for today. And I have a fun art project that you might want to do. So let's head on over to the art table. For art today, we're going to be making a hot air balloon scene. I'm going to start with a piece of blue paper. Then I'm going to cut out two cloud shapes from white paper. I'll glue those at the top like this. Now I'm going to be working at the bottom of the piece of paper. I have another piece of colorful paper and I'm going to cut out a square. I'll glue that to the bottom. That's going to be the basket for the hot air balloon. Next, I'm going to be using some string. I'm going to put two pieces of string behind the square and I'll glue all that down. If you don't have any string, you could just draw two lines. Those are the ropes that will connect the basket to the balloon. For the balloon, I'm going to be using a cupcake liner. Should I use pink or green or purple? Hmm, I think I'll use pink. I'm going to flatten out the cupcake liner. And then I'm going to glue it right here on the top of those strings. If you don't have a cupcake liner, you can just cut out a piece of paper into a circle shape. So there you have it. My hot air balloon is going up, up, and away. That was our art project for today. I have a fun science experiment for us today. We're going to blow up this balloon. This water bottle is, has vinegar inside. This balloon has baking soda inside. Maybe you've done something with these ingredients before. If so, you probably know that when I mix them, I'm going to get a reaction, a chemical reaction. I just put the balloon on top of the water bottle, make sure it's securely on there. And when I let this balloon dump into this vinegar, let's see what happens. You ready? Okay, here we go. 
Whoa, look at that. <gasps> the balloon is blowing up. Something's happening inside the bottle. Look at all those bubbles. Wow, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. When I mix the vinegar and the baking soda, a chemical reaction happens. Bubbles are formed. Those bubbles are filling the balloon. Whoa, look how big the balloon got. So that was a really fun experiment for today's theme. H is for a hot air balloon. I hope you had some fun and I hope you join me next time for our circle time and our letter of the day idea video. See you next time.